equip the education quality improvement project was officially launched in 2018 after many consultations and refinements there was a lot of research a lot of stakeholders gave pertinent information to get that um, project going Equip has placed great attention on special education, an area neglected for decades. The ministry has recognized that if we are to support or to advance the agenda of inclusion, which is really a global agenda, there is need to really ensure that all learners are adequately catered to. A lot of our special ed teachers are not trained. They've been given the mandate for special education, but they have not been trained. And so what we're trying to do is to look at that underserved area and train as many people as we can. And consequently, 75 teachers graduated from a one-year certificate course in special needs education. Graduates, as the Ministry of Education celebrates with you your successful completion of this training program, it is important to note that this is not the end. The first cohort, this was a raving success. Fantastic. There are other training programs with one teacher pursuing a degree program. At the degree level training, we currently have one scholarship recipient in the United Kingdom who is pursuing a Master of Science degree in speech um, and language therapy. The EQIP also made available assistive devices, computers and laptops to four special education centers around the island. Another key mandate of EQUIP was the rehabilitation of three primary schools, the Laguerre Primary School, the Vidbutei Primary School, and the Gordon Walcott Memorial Methodist School. These schools now have brand new modern facilities and are climate resilient. We looked at um, renewable energy and um, energy efficiency. We looked at climate resilience. We looked at drainage issues at the various schools. We also looked at accessibility with children with special needs. The EQIP is also piloting the formation of parent-teacher community associations at PI and Miku Secondary Schools, the Lady Gordon Opportunity Center, and the Soufre Primary School. The objective is to get the community more involved in the education of students. Once you have that community support, it means that um, the amount of crime and vandalism on the schools is reduced, uh, but uh, um, it also encourages um, schools to be used after hours by the community. A key objective of the school's outreach is the formation of a national parent-teacher community association. The EQIP is also focusing on policy formulation. It is undertaking a review of the Education Act to ensure it addresses the interest of all students. The EQIP is funded by the Caribbean Development Bank and the Government of St. Lucia.